Before installing the glass panes, carefully remove the beading and clean any dust from the frames and drainage holes before installing glass. It is vital that you don't mix the beads up as they need to go back in the same position. The glass units will all be the same width unless there is a master traffic door as in the case of this three pane door. The glass unit for a master traffic door is 6mm narrower so that it does not interfere with the door lock. It is vital to ensure that the narrow unit is fitted in the master traffic door. Starting with the first leaf, insert a glazing packer on the bridging packer that will become pre-fitted. Place the glass onto this packer, you will notice that there is a gap between the edge of the glass and the bridging packers. This is to enable you to insert glazing packers in the bottom corner of the hinge side and the top of the D-handle side in order to secure the glass in place. This is the toe and healing process and when done correctly, it transfers the weight of the glass to the hinges and allows the top hinge to hold the sash in place. Please see our other video for further details on how to do this in more detail. Once you have positioned the packers in the right location, secure them in place with silicone. Once the unit is in square and the sash is parallel in the outer frame, refit the beads in the sash. Place the short ones in first, ensuring to place them in the correct location and then the long ones. Take care not to scratch the beads when you are refitting them. Now move on to leaf two, repeating the process, but this time do the opposite as a standard toe and healing method. First insert glazing packers on the bottom corner of the hinge side and then insert glazing packers on the top of the D-handle side. Once the unit is square and the sash is parallel in the outer frame, refit the beads in the sash. Finally, move on to the master traffic door, repeating the process, inserting the glazing packers on the bottom corner of the hinge side, and then insert the glazing packers on the top of the handle side. Also insert packers on the top and bottom of the lock, fixing all packers with silicone to prevent movement. Once the unit is in square and the sash parallel in the outer frame, refit the beads in the sash. Check the operation of the door. Once all the leaves are glazed, fit the wedge gasket. Measure the gasket against each sash and cut the length for the width and height. Bray some window cleaning fluid onto the window to ease the fitting. Start at the left of the sash and insert the end of the gasket between the glass and the beading. Move along the edge slightly skipping sections, causing slight loops, and then insert more. Make sure you fit the gasket the right way round and do not overstretch it. Repeat action until gasket covers lengths of thash. Then put pressure and move your thumb to the left, ensuring gasket is fully inserted between the glass and the beads. Once you've completed hanging and glazing the doors, the frame will require sealing internally and externally all around the perimeter of the frame. Then fit the magnets which hold the leaf together once opened. Finally, clean the internal working area.